what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i just kind of want to make a what's been going on steven video you know i'm trying to get into the routine where i'm putting out more content and i just be slacking it's been raining it's been cold well the cold don't really bother me but you know i went fishing last sunday out in the rain for like eight hours and it's not miserable but it's not fun you can't really film but what's been going on um if you didn't know i'm fishing the cat trail this year on murray with my father-in-law uh which is a bass bass fishing you know tournaments because honestly down here in south carolina there's not a lot of crappy tournaments around like i'd love to go fish some bigger crappy tournaments but they're just far and few in between around here plus I, my vehicle probably only goes maybe 30 miles and then i'd be like oh man we're not gonna make it back to the house but eventually we're gonna upgrade that dang thing and be able to go to all these other lakes that i want to go to but i've been doing a lot of practicing not necessarily practicing for the tournament but you know i've probably got about 3,000 hours on live scope give or take probably more than that but there's certain things I've never done and I've been kind of honing my skills a little bit off camera just to be able to bring you guys more content. Um, the bass fishing stuff, I probably will start producing some bass fishing stuff on the channel. So if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it, but I really, really love bass tournaments. I, I just love tournaments in general. So. Here lately, I've been out catching them. I caught a lot of stripers, a couple bass. Uh, we fished the, the cat tournament on the 28th. I didn't get a single bite all day. My father-in-law caught two. We weighed in like four pounds. So, you know, waiting on the spring, waiting on that water to warm up. Cause when they start biting the top water, it gets a little bit, a little bit easier for us. But uh, as far as the jigs wise, uh, cranking out these orders. I appreciate every single one of y'all, you know, I've got almost 9,000 subscribers now. If every one of you guys bought some jigs, I'd go get me a, a new vehicle and that would be cool. <laughs> nah, I, I don't sit here and beg for money, but there is a membership thing down below that you can click join. You know, it helps out the channel. Or just go buy some jigs. There's a tip spot at checkout. I'm not telling you to go do that, but you know, go buy some jigs. At least you get something for your money. And it helps pay the bills for my family. I do have five kids, so you know I don't have a lot of extra playroom with the money that I get. But we make a living, and I love to be able to fish and make baits for a living. And that's all thanks to you guys at home. So I appreciate everybody watching the videos. Appreciate everybody using the jigs, telling me how good they are, sending me pictures, yada yada yada. Uh, we've got a couple cool videos coming up after this one um it's gonna be a lot of in-depth videos sitting in the shop because i think it's supposed to rain for like i don't even know it, it's gonna rain all next week uh you got a pretty good day saturday i might try to get out and do something then but i don't really enjoy fishing on the weekends but yeah that's pretty much what i've been up to i've been out there trying to hone my live scoping skills like I'm, I'm pretty good at it, but there's always room for improvement. A lot of people think, you know, live scope just fishing in a barrel, when in reality, it's a lot more to it most of the time than people see that don't own it. Um, there's certain factors in making the right cast, uh, figuring out where the fish is going, figuring out the fish size, figuring out what species the fish is etc figuring out how to trigger a bite once you find one not scaring the fish running over the fish like there's a, there's a lot of mental things that go into that one little screen that everybody hates that doesn't own one but if you own one you just love it it's it's one of them things <laughs> but i don't care about none of that because that's the way i enjoy fishing i mean i'm 32 years old you know i grew up with video games so being able to fish and do that at the same time is perfect for me but you know we got uh my list of videos that we got coming out in the next couple days will be a video about uh, the strike zone i want to kind of go in depth on the strike zone 
what are the crappy doing right now? I just want to kind of explain what they're doing with the rising water, the muddy water, certain time of year, etc. And salt and crappy plastics. So I'm going to be sitting down making a bunch of videos here soon. So if you have a video idea, drop it down below and hey, I may make that video. So this has been What Is Steven Up To? Steven is basically making jigs and going out there catching very, very few bass. 